up, May Nation? It's your girl Layla now, and I'm back with another video. What could be going on? It's Christmas. What is going on? Cyrus keeps. What is going on? Like, who died? Who got shot? Who, who committed crimes on Christmas? Anyway, y'all, back to my intro. And today's video is going to be a hair review on this Ave Lure collection hair. And it's gonna tell y'all everything about this hair, you know, get in, get into it, you know, you know. Tell y'all what, what they don't tell y'all, what they don't want y'all to know. I'm gonna tell y'all all that shit. So make sure you like this video. Before you like it, like it, because you know you're gonna like it. Before you watch it, comment and say anything you want just because. <laughs> and subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified about every video that I upload so you won't miss what I got coming. Because I'm not playing. In 2020, I'm coming for you bitches next. Period. Alright, now let's get into the video. Alright, y'all. So, like I said in the intro, this is the Burmese Water Wave from the Ave Lure collection. No, I don't I don't think I recorded the packaging when I um first got it or whatever, but they sent me like a silk bag and some brochures. I'm about to go get it and show you right now. Hold up. Uh, so the hair will come in a baggie like this, which is very pretty, very chic. I really like their colorway. I like their brand. I really, I just fuck with this. Like the colors go together. It's pretty. It's not plain. It's, it look very like, like, like expensive. Like. This, if, if, if I buy some hair and it comes in something that look like this, I'm going to already think that the hair going to be bomb because, bitch, it's coming in this. And they send two little brochures. This one says, hello, gorgeous. Thank you for your order. We hope you'll love this hair as much as we do. Tag us to be featured. And it says their brand name. And this one says, each bundle with 100% human hair. Basically, this is a um, brochure telling you how to take care of the hair. But I know what I'm doing, so I don't got to read that. But I like how they give you, like, specific instructions. So that way you can't come to them and say, oh, something going wrong with the hair. Because if you follow these instructions, I'm pretty sure the hair will be bald just how mine is. Now that I showed y'all that, we're going to get into the actual reading. I hope I wasn't too long-winded for y'all this time. So boom, the first thing I want to start on is the communication. So when they first, they first DM my um, Instagram and they asked that um, I want to work with them and I didn't see it because it was in my request and I don't really check them. I check them, but like, I didn't see it at first, but then they emailed me. So I'm like, oh, they really want to, first, I, I seen the email before I even seen the DM because I check my emails more than my DMs because it'd be some weird shit in my DMs. But my email, my business email, I check that almost every day because you never know who want to work with your girl, you feel me? So I checked it and I saw it. So I was like, oh my God, like these hair companies are starting to want to work with me. Like I'm starting to get noticed. Like I feel like now it's making me want to keep going because at this point I'm getting noticed. Like they know who I am. Some people, they see me, they want me to... You know, they want to work with me, and I'm, I feel on it. Like, I feel important a little bit. <laughs> but, y'all, so they emailed me, and I'm not going to read the specific email out, but basically they was very professional. Like, thank you. They greeted me. Like, it was just very professional. Like, I really like that. I don't like businesses that don't know how to communicate with their customers because that's how people don't come back. People want to feel you know, welcome. They want to feel like, you know, like me, we got a friendship level. Not a friendship, but like a customer to, you know, business. You know, just level of respect and just, you know what I'm saying. Like, when you text some companies from AliExpress or something like that, like, they might be, like, they might just say stuff that don't make sense or they might be a little rude or snappy, like, when you ask some questions, but not them. Not out in Liverpool. They was, they was nice, like, they was very nice. They was giving me compliments. Um, and when they first asked me that I want to work with them, I went to their Instagram. 
and I saw I saw that they got following they got I saw I first I wanted to see like how the hair look before I just say yes because I don't just work with anybody that want to send me anything and you know promote it and all that like no I really like look into it and see what I'm about to get myself into before I even agree to anything so I went on that Instagram I seen a lot of people saying they like their hair they got a following um they got you know I seen pictures of other girls wearing their hair and I was like oh this look good so I'm gonna give it a try so I responded and basically they sent me the hair now boom the shipping was so freaking fast like I don't know if it might be fast for everybody or maybe they just sent me like with expedited shipping because I was going to like I was working with them you know but the shipping was fast bitch like I can't remember exactly what day they messaged me but I know like three or four days probably just three days later the hair was here like so the shipping is on point so if you need some last minute bundles shop out of love because they gonna have that shit there by three two and a half three days i promise you all right so we're gonna get into me bleaching the knots because this is a frontal if i didn't say it already this is the burmese water wave 22 20 18 inch and a 16 inch frontal 13 by 4 and one thing I can say about the frontal is that it came pre-plucked, but when frontals come pre-plucked, I always pluck them more because, like, I like my hairlines to look, like, very, you know, and my frontals very natural. And with, with this curly hair, I want to go for a very, like, natural hairline with, like, a lot of baby hairs because I feel like curly hair just calls for baby hairs, like, dramatic baby hairs. Normally, I don't do my baby hairs all like this. But when I bleach the knots, bitch... Let me tell you how fast these knots bleach. Like, it bleached so fast to the point where it got on the hair. Like, or maybe it was just my mixture wasn't thick enough. But I feel like it was thick enough. I probably just put too much on. Because I don't like wasting product, bitch. So I just put all that shit on there. But it was a lot on there, bitch. And it came, it seeped through the lace and it got on the hair. But I just used some um, black rinse. And I put that on there. Let it sit overnight just so i can make sure it really worked and i washed it out i used my um purple shampoo and the um that i fixed that problem fast so that wasn't really a problem for me and that was really my fault but one thing about them knots bitch they bleach fast as fuck so and i use 30 volume developer that shit bleached so fast like i normally have to leave the um bleach on knots when i bleach knots for at least 30 minutes Bitch, when I looked at that fun, fucking frontal, that shit was turning already after like 10, 15 minutes. I'm like, oh my God, let me go wash this shit off. So that's a good thing because niggas some guys, I look like I got time to be sitting around all day waiting for a frontal to bleach so I can put my bundles in or put my wig on. Like, no, I need, I need my shit fast, quick, and hurry, you know? So that's a good thing about the knots. And um, when I plunk in front... When I plucked and customized the frontal, that was an easy process also. And the fact that it already came pre-plucked made it even easier. So, I really didn't have to do too much. But you know me, I do too much anyway. I think I did a little too much. Like, as you can see right here a little bit, it might look like, um, like it's plucked a little too much right here. I don't know, bitch. I just be going ham on the frontals, but if you get this frontal, you don't have to go ham on it because it's already pre-plucked and you don't want to pluck too much. So just pluck a little bit, bitch, and leave it where it's at because I think I plucked a little too much and I know I'm going to get bald in this frontal very fast, which is my fault. But anyway, um, so after that, after, no, first I made the wig first and the weft's perfect. Like, no weft was out of place. Like, it was... Man, I can't even explain it. Just know, the wefts are perfect. The bundles are thick. Like, I got three bundles, and that's normally what people use is three bundles in the front two. And, bitch, when I tell you I had too much hair, like, I had too much. I didn't even use all the hair. So, when I probably, I probably should have squeezed it in, but I was being lazy, bitch. But, yeah, the bundles is thick. You get a lot of hair on the um, wefts. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. And the wefts are not thick, so that means that your frontal, I mean, I'm sorry, that means that your wig will lay even flatter because if you got wefts that's thick, 
it's gonna be bulky. But if you got wefts that's thin, not thin, but like not too thick, a wig gonna be nice and flat. So the wefts was not too thick, not too thin, perfect. It was it was perfect, nothing was out of place, not, you know how some wefts be messed up, none of that. Um and when I made the wig, it was an easy, um, it was an easy process making a wig, you know. That's you know how to make a wig. I'm pretty sure everybody, not everybody, but most people, y'all know how to make a wig, and it was easy. I noticed after I washed the bleach off and I co-washed it, the hair was soft as fuck. Like soft as fuck. I'm like, oh my god, like this shit feel like butter, like it's really soft as fuck. I'm like, oh my god, I never had no curly hair this soft, like my Tanache deep wave hair wasn't even, it's, it's not even as soft as this hair, like, this some soft ass hair. And that Tanache hair, that's some bomb ass hair, I told y'all before. But this, I think Ivy Lure, I think they fucking with him. Like, they, they, they a little, they fucking with him a little bit, just a little bit, they fucking with him. But yeah, it's some soft ass hair, y'all, like, and, um, after I co-washed out of the air dry overnight, when I woke up, the curls was, you know, just like this, I had the little um, wet look or whatever. Because you know what? Like, when you let hair air dry sometimes, I guess still got that wet look until you comb it out and then it go away. So I had the nice wet look. So I was pressed to install this wig, bitch. I'm like, oh, yes. Like, I got a curly frontal because I never had a curly frontal. I only had a curly closure. So I, want, I was happy to get a curly frontal so I could do little styles like this. So, bitch, when I installed the wig, it was an easy process process installing the wig the lace i think it was a medium brown lace but i just put i used a stocking cap and i put my foundation color well i used a little a foundation that was a little lighter than my skin color on the actual lace and that was because it's, it was medium brown and i'm a little lighter as y'all can see so i wanted to use a, a foundation that was a little lighter so it can like lighten the lace and it can actually look like scalp like, because you know your scalp is lighter than everything else. Like, your scalp is lighter than your, your skin. So, that's why I did that. And um, I put some foundation powder on my stocking cap as well. And when I melted the lace, bitch, that shit melted like, like, like it was nothing. Like, I used my Boho lace, lace glue. I put my shit on. Tied it down. Let it sit. Let it dry. And when I took that shit off, like, that shit was melted as fuck, bitch. Like, I didn't even cut the lace off. And you could tell that that shit was going to look good as fuck once I cut it off. And the lace wasn't too thick. It was very thin, you know. So that make it easy, easier to melt it and make it look natural. And I don't want, I don't want to make this video too long because it's really... Like, if I had some bad shit to say, the video would be long. But since it's nothing bad to say, like, when I make these videos, I don't be knowing what to say. Because it's like, I don't want to make it too short. But I don't want to talk too much about shit. Because it ain't shit to talk about besides me telling y'all to go get y'all some because it's lit. So that's why I be really, like, having a hard time when I had some bomb ass hair. And I'm trying to make a review. Because it's like, I need at least 10 minutes of footage. So I just be trying to just ramble. But y'all... I'm not going to hold y'all no longer. My thoughts on this hair is that I fuck with this hair. It's soft, easy to manage. Like, it's just bomb as fuck. The frontal, easy to customize, easy to install. Like, the west was perfect. The knots, bleach fast. Shipping, fast. Communication. Like, they, they kept up. They really kept up with me. Like, they let me know where they shipped the hair. They sent me the um, tracking number. You know, it was it was back and forth. Like me and the company got at least like ten emails going back and forth and DMs. And they also promote like everybody that wears their hair and they and you send them a picture, they'll post you and they'll put you on that story if you tag them in your story and stuff like that. Like they really, they basically that's basically giving you a shout out, which is a good thing because some companies like some big companies when you buy hair from them and you tag them and stuff, they don't pay you no mind. But they, I've been lured, they gonna, they gonna thank you for shopping with them. They gonna show some love and repost your content and stuff, which can potentially help you out. And yeah, there's really nothing else to say, y'all. 
Let me show y'all the back. Let me show y'all how long it is on me before I go. And y'all, I'm 5'7", and this is 20 inches, and it's very long for, shit, 22 inches. And it's very long to be 22 inches, like, I thought it was going to come, like, a little up, like, near, like, right after my bra strap. Like, it come all the way down, like, to this much up. Like, this is my butt crack, and this the hair. That's how long it is. So, y'all, it is true to left, maybe a little longer which is a good thing. I don't know nobody who complains about getting extra length because, bitch, inches is, inches, free inches. <laughs> but, y'all, uh, that's how the hair look on me or whatever. So, if you want to use my height as a reference, if you 5'7", you should get 22 inches if you want to go for this look. If you're not, just get whatever length you want. But I thought that I would just throw that in there. It might be helpful for my tall girls out here, you know. But yeah, y'all, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer. I just wanna say this last thing. Go shop Ave Lure Collection. Tell them your girl Layla now sent you. You're not gonna be disappointed, bitch. I promise. Like you're not. Like I don't even review hair. That's bullshit. And if I do a root hair that's bullshit, I'm gonna tell y'all the tea. And so far, so good. Like, I haven't had no hair that was bullshit. And I'm so happy because I see reviews all the time and they be having horror stories. And I'm just so happy that shit never happened to me, bitch. Like, this hair is bone. Go get you some, sis. Tell them I sent you. And that's it for this video, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Go follow my Instagram at LaneLanel. It's going to be linked in the description box for you to make it easier. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time a girl uploads. Because May Nation, we lit over here. Period. And that's it. Bye, May Nation. I love y'all.